dear students continuing with our lecture series on named reactions uh, this is our 29th lecture and in this lecture we will discuss uh, the chemistry and applications of bischler naprasky reaction uh, bischler naprasky reaction uh, is an intramolecular uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction where uh, cyclization of uh, beta aryl uh, amides uh, will lead to the formation of dihydroisoquinoline moieties so uh, in addition to beta aryl amides uh, we can also use beta aryl uh, carbamates as precursors for synthesis of dihydroisoquinoline basically uh, this reaction is uh, catalyzed by phosphorus oxychloride and in addition uh, recently a uh, few more uh, catalysts they have also been used for such type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions and uh, most common among them they are uh, essential for uh, boron uh, trifluoride ethrate solution Uh, which is uh, mainly used uh, uh, in case of uh, phenylethyl amides whereas uh, tf2o and polyphosphoric acid they are used for uh, beta aryl uh, carbamates so depending upon uh, the type of substrate used we can use the type of catalyst uh, which can lead to the electrophilic aromatic substitution cyclization to form dihydroisoquinolines as the product so uh, you can see over here uh, this is an indole derivative of uh, beta aryl uh, beta aryl ethyl amide when this is uh, reacted in presence of phosphorus oxychloride in benzene as uh, a solvent then uh, cyclization of uh, this ring will take place for the formation of dihydroisoquinoline ring in this way as far as uh, the mechanism of this reaction is concerned uh, in literature two types of mechanisms uh, they have been proposed uh, the mechanism one which is uh, based on dichlorophosphoryl amine ester intermediate uh is like this that in the first step uh, the lone pair of lactones present on uh, the beta aryl thylamide will lead uh, to the formation of a carbon nitrogen double bond and uh, leading uh, to the attack of this lactone active uh, oxygen to this lactopositive phosphorus group with the elimination of chloride ion so chloride ion is removed from the phosphorus oxychloride and beta aryl thylamide uh, reacts uh, with this phosphorus oxychloride to give us these types of intermediates which are called as amine ester intermediate so that is why this mechanism is called as dichlorophosphoryl amine ester intermediate and then uh, because here the nitrogen is having a positive charge and uh, uh, shifting of this pi electrons will lead to the formation of this type of carbocation uh, which will be more stable in comparison to this uh, positively charged body on the nitrogen uh, and uh, this will lead to the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction in this way that aromatic ring now will attack uh, the electrophile and cyclization will take place uh, which will pass through the elimination of hcl and po2 uh, cl uh, like this to give us dihydro isoquinoline derivatives and uh, second mechanism which has been uh, proposed that is based on nitrilium intermediate so here uh, when this uh, amine ester uh, intermediate is formed in the first step then uh, intramolecularly this uh, <coughs> amine ester intermediate with the elimination of hcl molecule h from here cl from here and po2 cl molecule from here 
leads to the formation of this type of intermediate which is called as the nitrilium intermediate and then this nitrilium intermediate again uh, gets converted into this type of uh, uh, carbon nitrogen double bonded carbocation and uh, this undergoes then electrophilic aromatic substitution uh, through this uh, aromatic ring which leads ultimately to the formation of dihydroisoprene so depending upon the reaction conditions uh, the uh, process of conversion of beta aryl thylamide to dihydroisoquinolines will take place uh, whether through uh, mechanism 1 or through mechanism 2 but in both the cases the product form is same then few uh, applications of uh, this reaction so uh, in recent years uh, some modifications uh, in the reaction conditions uh, have been shown to give us the same products uh, which are formed in <coughs> bischler nikolsky cyclization reactions so, so for example if uh, we take the case of beta aryl thylamide uh, where this aryl group is substituted uh, either by h or methoxy electrolysing group which will increase uh, the electrophilic uh, aromatic substitution capacity of this aromatic ring uh, because this ring becomes uh, activated with the uh, uh, addition of uh, electron leasing groups at the aromatic ring so <clears throat> in such cases uh, the beta carbo uh, carboline derivatives uh, they uh, are formed or 3 4 dihydroisoquinolines they are formed through cyclodehydration of beta aryl ethylamides. So, uh, two types of catalysts they can be used for these types of cyclization either uh, triflates, uh, uh, triflet, uh, triflates uh, in presence of uh, two chloropyridine, uh, they act as catalysts, and uh, we can use uh, uh, microwave conditions for cyclization of these types of. Uh, substitution formation or uh, phosphate base uh, uh, phosphate base uh, phosphorus based uh, catalyst they can also be used so triphenyl uh, phosphide bromine mediated uh, cyclization can also lead to the formation of dihydroisoquinoline then uh, there are some uh, modifications where instead of using uh, beta aryl ethyl amides we can use uh, beta aryl ethyl amines as the reactants and uh, these uh, beta aryl ethyl amines on reaction with uh, aryl carboxylic acids in presence of phosphorus oxychloride uh, and toluene as a solvent under microwave uh, conditions they can uh, undergo uh, electrophilic arom uh, aromatic substitution cyclization reaction to give us substituted 3,4-dihydro uh, isocumulin derivatives. So you can see that uh, here what will happen uh, these amines they will react uh, in the first step with these carboxylic acids and ultimately Acid will react with the mean to give us amides, they will be formed in situ, and those amides uh, in presence of phosphorus oxychloride they will undergo cyclization to give us the final products that is 3 4 dihydroisoquinoline derivatives. Similarly, uh, beta aryl uh, ethyl alcohols uh, they have also been used uh, as a modification. Uh, for uh, these types of uh, uh, bischler nepraleski react cyclization reactions. So these uh, beta aryl uh, ethyl alcohols on reaction with aryl nitriles, uh, they, uh, this uh, alcoholic uh, alcohol hydroxyl group of uh, this substrate will undergo nucleophilic addition to this uh, nitrile group and uh, these uh, derivatives formed they will then undergo cyclization in presence of tf2o uh, and 2-fluoropyridine as a combination of these two they will act as catalyst for the synthesis of 
3,4-dihydroisoquinoline uh, derivatives. So, uh, reaction conditions, uh, they are almost same. Only thing is, if we modify the substrates which are used for these reactions, then also we can synthesize 3,4-dihydroisoquinoline uh, derivatives. So these are uh, recent uh, examples which have appeared in uh, some important chemistry journals like organic letters in 2019. And then uh, this bachelor Plesky reaction has also been uh, applied for the synthesis of fused uh, quinolizidine uh, derivatives. So for example, if we are having uh, these types of uh, uh, beta aryl ethyl amides uh, which are substituted in nature so these uh, substituted beta aryl ethyl amide they will give us a mixture of uh, diastereomeric fused uh, quinolizidine uh, derivatives uh, the ratio of formation of these uh, stereoisomers or diastereomers is 90 to 1 so 90% uh, if uh, of this alpha uh, fused uh, quinolizidine is formed and 10% of beta is formed. So reaction conditions uh, they are same when uh, these uh, substituted beta aryl-ethylamides they are reacted with phosphorus oxychloride and they will be first converted into uh, dihydro uh, isoquinoline derivatives and these dihydroisoquinoline derivatives they, then they will be reduced by sodium borohydride to give us these types of uh, asymmetric uh, fused uh, quinolizidine derivatives uh, they both the diastereomers of the product they are formed and overall yield of the product formed is 71 then uh, uh, the asymmetric synthesis of uh, caramamine uh, C, uh, uh, this is uh, also uh, formed through uh, this bissler nipresky reaction. So this is uh, again an application of this reaction where uh, the corresponding amide of this indole derivative uh, is used. Uh, to give us these types of dihydro beta carboline uh, derivatives through uh, cycle uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution cyclization uh, using uh, phosphorus oxychloride as the catalyst and benzene as the solvent and then uh, through further steps uh, these uh, derivatives uh, dihydro beta carboline derivatives they can be converted into these types of important alkaloid So these are the references which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.